What is up everyone? I am Bishop Brother and you are watching the very first episode of the Pokemon TCG series on this channel. This series will be quite different from the Showdown series that you have already seen from me so far as it will not be uploaded quite as often and it will also have the, uh, the same deck multiple times in a row. Those are both because of the same reason. Well, kind of. I won't upload this as much because I'm using the same deck over and over again and that will get boring if you watch it a ton. Uh, the reason I'm using the same deck over and over again is because on Pokemon TCG Online, you are dependent on which cards you have. Like, like I can't magically have all cards like I have in Pokemon Showdown suddenly have access to all Pokemon, which doesn't actually make much, much sense, but here, you don't have that. So, I cannot make a new deck every week or every two days or something like that. That's just not gonna happen. So for that reason, I'll be running with the deck you're going to see today for a long time until I have my second deck ready and now I'll be playing kind of with both every so often. We'll see what happens after that. So that is it. Now for this deck, this is a Mega Sceptile Zoroark deck. Mainly Mega Sceptile, Zoroark is a supportive Pokemon, but I felt like mentioning it because this is my secondary attacker. What does Mega Sceptile do? As you can see here. He does 100 damage for 2 energies. Already very efficient. Like, own Mega Manectric does hit harder for 2 energies, however, he is extremely efficient. Sceptile is just very efficient, pretty much. Uh, what he also gets to do is attach 2 Grass Energy from your hand, so if you just have 2 in your hand, you get to put them on your bench whatever way you like. You don't have to care. You can just do whatever you want. And then, every Pokemon you attach energy to, is fully healed. And that is the, comp the comparison to Mega Manectric is easy to make because Me Mega Manectric also gets to put two energies onto Pokemon, except they're from your discard pile, but oh well. Uh, he doesn't get to heal. Septal does. And that is the core of this deck. That is the reason this deck has potential to beat Night March. Because Night March doesn't one shot Mega Septal EX unless every single Night Marcher but one is in. Sorry is in this card pile. So that will be the final Night Marcher, pretty much. Once you knock that last one out, you've won because they have no more attacks. That is the idea. All right, how do we, well, he doesn't get to heal himself. That's kind of sad. It has to be benched Pokemon and the, only the active one can attack. So how do we make that work? Now let's say we have two Mega Sceptiles, right? One gets hit. Then you want to bring the one that gets hit to the bench and attack with the other one so you can heal the one that got hurt. How do we switch? Well, there are cards in the game that would allow you to switch, like the switch card or the escape rope card or something like that. Or Olympia maybe even. Not in this deck. That is where Zoroark comes in. He has the ability stand in. At any point during your turn, you can make Zoroark your active Pokemon. Like, you can just do that. Once during your turn, you can do that. You make him your active Pokemon. No cost, he's your active Pokemon now. Then he is there. You don't want him there. You want Mega Sceptile there, right? So you can attack and heal. How do we get him back? The Floatstone. We hook Zoroark up with a Floatstone. Zoroark comes in and goes back. And now you have switched your two Mega Sceptiles. That is why Zoroark is so good in this deck. I have won every single mirror match against Mega Sceptile so far because of that tech in there. No other Mega Sceptile deck I have seen has this, and that is why this deck is, in my opinion, better than the others. Kind of sounds really arrogant, but I have proven that I can beat other Mega Sceptiles easily. Right, okay. Now, uh, when you Mega Evolve in a TCG, you have to end your turn when you do, unless, unless you have the Spirit Link. The Sceptile Spirit Link. Also, why the fuck is it a Spirit Link? Why is it not called the Sceptile Light? Why... Come on, Nintendo. It's so obvious. How obvious do you need it? Really? What? What? This is clearly a Mega Stone. What else do you want? Okay. Doesn't matter. It's a Spirit Link in this uh, in this case. What? Get out. Okay. It's a Spirit Link. What does it do? Is it's a Pokemon tool. You attach it to the Sceptile EX, and then when you Mega Evolve into Mega Sceptile EX, it doesn't matter. You can keep, still keep going. Nice. Really good. However, sometimes you cannot find the Spirit Link. At that point, you will have to attack with Sceptile EX. Now, 
These numbers don't look very impressive. 10 damage for one energy, not that great. 60 damage for two energy, also not that great. Sleep poison, uh, you flip a coin if heads your opponent's active Pokemon now sleep and poisoned. Not, get, not, not that good of a move because you need to hit two uh, coin flips in order to make sure the Pokemon stays asleep, the opponent's Pokemon. You first need to get heads to put him asleep and then you need him, him to get tails to stay asleep. It's not that useful. Poison is useful, sure, but it's not the most amazing thing in the world. Unseen Claw is the most amazing thing in the world. Two energies, 60 damage, not that great. But if your opponent's active Pokemon is affected by a special condition, this attack does 70 more damage. That is 130 damage for two energies. Two energies, that is incredibly efficient. That two hit KOs everything. Everything, except for Mega Tornator with two heart charms, but that's never gonna happen. It two hit KOs the entire game. That's amazing. However, he does need to have a special condition. Uh, so we need a reliable way to get a special condition, like, I don't know, sleep, poison, paralyze, poison, because there's this one Pokemon, this grass type, with poison as nest. Once during your turn, you may use this ability. Both active Pokemon, except for grass type Pokemon, are now poisoned. In other words, you put Septile EX there, you click, you click poison as nest. Septile X is a grass type, doesn't get poisoned. The opponent's active Pokemon, hopefully, is not a grass type. Does get poisoned. The opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. 130 damage from, from Unseen Claw. There it is, 130 damage for two energies. And then you also get 10 damage from the poison. Awesome, I love this. This is, it's just so good that you can also attack with the pre-Mega form, which a lot of Mega, mega Pokemon lack. Uh, Mewtwo has it, Sceptile has it, Manextra kind of has it, but most, most don't. Houndoom, for example, don't. Um, this deck does, and that is why I like it. The final Pokemon I really want to talk about is Hoopa. Hoopa, I only play one, as you can see. Uh, why do I only play one? Because if I look for three Pokemon EX once, which this ability allows me to do, that's plenty. I don't, really don't need to look for it more often, more often than once. It's annoying when he's priced because then you pull them out by the time you already have everything set up, so he's useless. That's kind of, kind of annoying, but it's fine, really. If he's priced, nothing else, something else is not priced. That, that's just the way it works. Okay, some other more things I really want to talk about. Yes, I want to talk about Revitalizer. Revitalizer is amazing in grass decks because what happens is, let's say I have a Mega Sceptile right there, right, in the active spot. It gets knocked out for whatever reason. Maybe Night March exists. Something else, something like that, all right? It gets knocked out. You have the, obviously you have the Force of Giant Plants laying down so you can evolve immediately. And let's say you have a Spirit Link in your hand. You play the Revitalizer, pull out Sceptile EX and Mega Sceptile EX, which just got knocked out and put in Discord Pile. You pull them back out, put the Sceptile EX down, Spirit Link under, and thanks to Force of Giant Plants, place a Mega Sceptile down immediately, attack with a different Mega Sceptile, two energies onto the Mega, uh, previous Mega Sceptile again, and you have a new one set up. Already, that's one turn. That is incredible. This card makes this deck so fast, or at least have potential to be really fucking fast. All right. Uh, obviously, it works well with Better Compressor. That seems obvious. The other combination I have Better Compressor, Mega Turbo, and Verse Seeker. Really. Apart from that, it's not really anything special. I only run two Verse Seekers because I don't have any more. A trainer's mail, four trainer's mail is for momentum. Um, Skylight is for when I really, really, really need a spirit link out. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. All right. Uh, we're gonna enter a tournament. Uh, I'm gonna be playing the tournament. If we lose, it doesn't matter. We'll play uh, three matches for sure this video. If we lose in the first tournament match, we'll play two more afterwards and just versus. If we lose in the second tournament match, we play. One more, and if we lose in the third one, or win the third one, we don't play anymore. And we'll end it off at that. Right, I'm gonna go into the tournament, and I'll see you guys when it starts. And here we go, we're facing off against a fairy deck immediately. Now, I I'm expecting this to be Journey as EX, which is somewhat scary, however, it cannot do it KO Mega Scepter without a tool attached, which is kinda nice. Um, it might even be, I recently I saw like this strange Mega, 
Mayhem deck, a fairy deck, which was Mega Neon, C Mega Gardevoir, Mega Audino, and Mega Altaria. Really weird, didn't work at all, I completely destroyed there. So I hope that happens again. And I don't have basics in my hand again. God damn it. That's two free cards for her. I don't like this. Ah, there we go. And we also force the giant plants immediately, so it can it will first turn. Let's hope for Spirit Link. If I pull the Spirit Link now, I'm gonna be very happy. I don't get to start, sadly. It's Deonsi. I actually don't know what Mega Deonsi does. Okay, so this is 60 damage, uh, 110 if with a stadium card. Okay. That's an Eevee. That's an Eevee. In a fairy deck. Is that Sylveon? I don't... Sylveon? Really? Sylveon? What? Sylveon. I kind of want to play the second word because I want to see if I can get more on my bench. I can't attack with Mega Sceptile turn 1 anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Okay. Look, see, I knew that was a good... I knew it was a good uh, decision. I knew it. I knew it. I'm going to pull out N. I really have no need for uh, the other thing right now. The... I don't even know what it was really. I'm going to play Hoop AX first. I'm going to pull out my other two Mega... Uh, other two Sceptiles. I could pull out this, I will pull out this, just not, don't sick more next turn, really. Actually, I don't have to play the Revitalizer now, that's what's actually really good. I forgot I had, would have had to play the Revitalizer. We're just gonna do this, we're gonna Mega Evolve. We, we couldn't attack anyway because we didn't have the energy, so I might, may as well evolve for turn one, thanks for Force of Giant Plants. Uh, he doesn't do too much now, there's the Fairy Garden. Still not really, uh, he's going to be doing 110 damage immediately. That's not good. This isn't going the way I planned. <laughs> Damn. That hurts. That's perfect to KO rage as well. That's really, I have to play this though. I'm going to have to play N. Like, I'm going to have to see what I can pull out. Damn, damn, this is not good. This is bad. This is really, really bad. Hmm, what am I gonna do? I'm just gonna attack. I can only do 70 damage too because of that fucking ability. This is not good. I'm in a very bad situation. I think we're actually gonna lose this one already. Like, he got going very fast. I didn't. Oh, I got going somewhat fast, but not fast enough. The fact that he got the start was huge for him. Otherwise, I probably would have gotten his the first knockout here. Why do you have that ability, man? It's so stupid. Uh, I cannot do anything right now. Like, I could pull out the Mega and evolve, but it's so risky because of... Um... Wait, a better idea is probably, honestly. I don't have Force of Giant Plants out, shit. I'm gonna... Play spinner down there. I'm also gonna place. I guess I'll place Ariados down there for now. I'll pull them out. And I'm gonna. And yeah, disrupt him a little bit. Or, I don't know. <sighs> Damn it, this is not at all what I want. Actually, not that bad. Because of the Mega Turbo here. Oh, I wish I could play the Hex Maniac. I would have been able to knock him out. Damn. 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 This is not good at all. Like He's getting things going way too quickly for me. I can't really keep up. Sadly. Like This floor is already set up. If he gets his aromatis, he can just start setting up next things already. Right, at least I can knock out this thing finally, this uh, Deonsi now. Do I need Ariados right now? I don't really need Ariados right now. I'm going to keep my cards. Alright, how much damage do you do? I'm pretty sure it was 100 damage. If I remember correctly, this thing does 100 damage. 
Uh, no, 120. It's barely enough. I'm, I lost. I think. No, I, well, technically I didn't lose yet. There's a very good chance I'm going to lose right here. Because he barely has enough damage here up. He got it going very She got it going very quickly. She played well. I didn't necessarily get the cards that I needed. Which is kind of sad. But really. She played it very well. I'm not going to deny that at all. I'm just going to pull out two more set tiles. I could have pulled out Mega. But not really worth it. I need my Ariados out. So I can at least start doing damage with this thing. Kind of. Uh, I'm going to. Get rid of the floats, so I'm gonna get rid of the spinner rack. Keep the Hex Maniac. I need area those. Try and start doing damage next turn if I get an energy. Might even be able to knock this thing out still. Uh, I can sleep poison. Just kinda neat. Oh, cool, I got the head. Tails, tails! If this is tails, I might have a chance. Yes! Now I just need an energy next turn. Uh, that's a Wally. That's an Aromatis out. What does this Sylveon do? Why do you have it? What? What? Why did this... Huh? What the hell? Seriously? He carries his Slurp off. Of course he does. God. Nice. Pull this out. Oh, but that way I cannot put a poison on him because of the... Oh wait, yes I can. Oh no I can't. Because if I play Hex. This isn't gonna work, right? Let me see. Fuck no. Oh my god, why does he have that? Like, this is not gonna do anything. I'm gonna Hex Maniac. And try to get the Sleep Poison off again. Okay, I got it again. See if I can get this one more. Okay, I got it again. I'm stalling. And because of the Axe Maniac, his Slurp of doesn't prevent this right now. It's going to... God damn it! Of course he has to see center lady. My god. This is literally an anti-status deck. I can't do shit to an anti-status deck. God damn it. I, I'm kind of salty about that, man. It's like anti anti septile. It felt like this was an anti septile deck. That's just mean. I mean come on. Alright. Oh well. I, as I said, we lost the tournament. I'm going to play two versus matches now. I'll see you guys when the first one starts. And here we go. A water fighting deck. That's most likely just a fighting deck with auxiliary. Except that's a dragon coin. Which doesn't make sense. He has no dragon types. Okay. Never mind. It's probably just a fighting deck with auxiliary support. It's Garchomp. I can beat Garchomp. Because Garchomp is weak to grass. I can't beat Garchomp if he gets like 5 free cards because I cannot pull basics. For fuck's sake. Damn it. Now these dragon uh, things make sense because Garchomp is a dragon type in the games, of course. What's he doing? I hate fight. In my opinion, fighting decks are broken because they have strong energy. They have fighting stadium. They get so much extra damage for no real reason, and there's just not that much you, anyone can do about it. And of course a terrible start, spinner X start. Amazing. Just what I need. Okay, at least he didn't get anything good either. And he can have not actually hurt the, um, the spinner rack with the Halucha. What can I... Nothing that is... Nothing is good right now. Sorry if I sound salty, but I am salty. I'm gonna discard this. I'm gonna discard Skyla. I'm gonna pull out Hoopa. At least get something going. Uh, and we're gonna get this and this and this. Do I want a Mega? I don't want a Mega. I could have I could have Mega evolved, but it's really not worth it. 
I need to make sure I may evolve at some point though. I'm gonna end my turn. Because if I don't Mega Evolve, Garchomp's gonna e be easily be able to one-shot me with just one strong energy, which is annoying. <sighs> 60 damage for one energy, that's quite a bit. But it's only 60 damage though. He would technically be able to knock out Spinarak, except he only can only attack... Uh, EX Pokemon. Okay, what does he have in here? Oh, two Remorades! That's, nah, that's, that's really nice. That's really nice. So also Gibble. That's good at least. That most likely means no artillery for him this game. Level Ball for Gibble. I'm betting. Yep, of course. Gibble. Comes out. <sighs> fighting also has Corvina support. Like, fighting has so much support, and it's so stupid. Like, they have two stadiums, they have Corvina, they have strong energies. What? Th why? Like, for real, why? Why fighting? Why choose fighting? So dumb. The reason for it is, of course, that um, fighting has a lot of. Uh, what am I trying to say? Fighting in TCG also has ground and rock. So, what happens is, in order to. Uh, the Scorch Earth, for example, would normally work with ground and rock types, most likely, except they are also fighting types. So, that's how that happens. Corvina is a fighting gym leader, so that would normally go with the fighting type, except. Yeah. You get, you get what I'm talking about right by now, I'm pretty sure. Like, because they have so many types, they get advantages for that normally would go to all those types. So I don't really know why Ground and Rock are also fighting. That's what breaks it. Um, now, I'm not saying that I think fighting is more broken than Nightmarch, because nothing is more broken than Nightmarch. But fighting is this dumbest type, in my opinion. There's just so much... But they get that other type, other types you don't. And I'm playing Grass. The only thing I have got going for me is Force of Giant Plants. Well, that is a very good stadium. It's just not enough. Where is my? Where are my energies, guys? Come on. This is nice, at least. The fact that I have Zoroark or Floats on setup. What can I get though? I guess I'll take out the Spirit Link. Like I want. I don't. I don't want to do much yet. I don't want to send this thing out yet. I, I could. But he's going to hurt me if I don't get to sleep. So I'm not going to. I need an energy on this thing first. So I can. So I have potential to one shot this thing. I need an energy and an area that was next turn. That'd be best case scenario. Out of the Sycamore. Because obviously I'm going to take more next turn. Why aren't you doing anything, buddy? Are you lagging out? Okay. All right, here we go again. He has, see, true two strong energies. That, that's gonna be so much damage already. The focus that doesn't matter against me. <laughs> he doesn't realize it yet, I think. Because what happens with focus Ash, if I get the poison, that is, he probably orders his guard jump at hand then. If I get the poison, then he's just gonna be brought down to 10 HP and then die anyway because of poison. But he's gonna evolve it now. Uh, Halucha has free retreat, so he's gonna kill off my Spinarak. That sucks. Maybe I should have retreated it. But Seto would have also gone down. <sighs> Still very possible to win this because if he knocks at spinner right here. No, I need I need the poison. I need the poison for sure. So I prefer him not knocking out spinner right now. Or just staying in with Halucha for no reason. 
which he's obviously not gonna do. Free retreat on that Halucha, of course. Turbo assault. He's gonna go for the turbo assault. Yeah, it's plenty. See, 100 damage for one energy. That that's fighting for you. Now he's gonna get this first prize card as well. Which what's he gonna get? Yeah, I figured. I'm gonna send it out, see what I can do. I need to pull, I have like a magical sycamore here. I don't wanna, I didn't wanna toss away both of those, man. That's not the magical sycamore that I needed. I need, I need spinner can area those out somehow. See, they even get focus sash as well. Like, they get so much support. That's what made Garchum so good. The fact that they the fighting gets so much support. I still want to know what he does. I don't think we're going to win here because of fucking fighting. Strong, two strong energies, a focus sash, a muscle band on the hull loot. Like, there's just not much you can I can do about that. Why is Focus Sash fighting type only? Who thought that was a good idea? Like for real? Why? Was that a bite? Okay. Uh, it's only Sash wouldn't have been fighting only, it would have been fine. Though I guess it would have been kind of broken, but why make it fighting only? Fighting already had like 20 billion things going for them. Make it gro Gross has nothing. Force of Giant Plants, that's the only thing. I just need Revitalizer and Force of Giant Plants. Nope, nope, it's not gonna happen. It's just not gonna happen. I'm gonna finish him off with this set tile. I think we lost already though. Uh, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? How much spin? Uh, I'm gonna pull out something at least. Discard those two. I'm gonna pull out the spin rack. Let's just unseen claw here. I saw the Aridos as well, so it's still in my deck. That's good. I need Aridos. If I can pull out Aridos, I have a chance to win. Otherwise, I'm just I just don't. The artillery. Probably has Lysander in his hand. Corona is also fighting support, by the way. Like, it's just so ridiculous. I know I said that already, actually. Now that I think about it, I already said that Corona is uh, fighting support. But seriously, look at this. Look at this. Let fighting support. Fighting support. Fighting support. Uh, fighting support. Like, there's so much. So much fighting support. And I have no idea why. He's probably just pulled out a guard jump, to be honest. Here, fighting support! More! Ah, oh, yeah, of course he gets you. At least I'll be able, I hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to knock it out. I actually don't know that for sure yet, because... Um... I don't know if I can pull out area those. How many Ultra Balls do I have left? I have uh, none. Crap. How many Sycamores do I have left? How many Versus Seekers do I have left? I have both Versus Seekers have two Sycamores left. He can knock this thing out. Because he does, uh, like, it says 80 damage. Okay, 80 more, so that's 160. But he's gonna do 200 damage. Because of Fighting Stadium and Strong Energy, so yeah, I'm dead. 
I mean, I'm sorry about being kind of mad about this, but I just think fighting is unfair. It's not fair that one type gets all the support. Ah, cool, Sycamore. Alright, I'll take this. Gladly. Because that's an Ariados and that's a Sceptile. I can also get my second Mega Sceptile set up. I think this is really good because now I can do stand in. And now I can do exactly what this deck is made to do. And I can retreat you into this thing. And I can attack. Ah, oh, fuck, I forgot the poison. Okay, that's my own fault. That's. That, that's Completely my own fault. If I lose because of that, that's my own fault. I screwed up. Completely my fault. Absolutely my fault. I will definitely tell you that. That's just a huge misplay. There's one energy in here, right? There should still be more energies in my deck, at least. So I can heal up again next turn. I believe. That's so dumb. Why did I forget the poison? Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. I'm such an idiot. I'm such an idiot. I'm such an idiot. Uh, can he... How are you gonna... Do you have muscle... What? I thought he was gonna finish me off. Okay. I'll take that. I'll gladly take that. I don't know why, but I'll... Okay. I'm gonna go into the next match. I'll see you guys there. And here we go, a fire deck. That's just what I was hoping for. My weakness. Why does weakness exist again? What is the reasoning behind having weakness be a thing? Just saying like, yeah, you're playing in this archetype of decks. It's not even like one specific deck. It's this archetype of decks. And you cannot win. Yes, that sounds fair. Oh, I can win. If I get lucky. Very lucky. But you just immediately put it on the back foot for no real reason. Yes, amazing start. I cannot do jack I can do jack shit. That was my entire turn. <sighs> amazing. Let's see what he gets. Put on the muscle band. I've seen this for Corona before. It's pretty good. Ah, it's decent. It's not amazing. This Larvesta is pretty bad. 30 damage. This is a 2 with K on the draw, I guess. Oh, I'm so scared of this match, and I'm going to lose it because of weakness. Yay. Okay. All right. oh, oh, okay. This, this, is, this is finally something decent, actually. Yeah, I'll, I'll gladly look for uh, Pokemon here. And one of my Sceptiles is prized. Uh, I don't really want to charge you up any further. But I'm going to end my turn here. I do have the ability to retreat you now at least. So that's kind of good. It's Delphox. Delphox is really, really scary. I don't know man, I'm kind of out of it. Those last two matches kind of got me pissed. I don't like it. And this is again, just a match I cannot win. Oh, there's the Volcarona. This is a different Volcarona. I saw that that has stopped, just like Mega Septal does. Go away. I want to check this for Corona. Uh, okay. Uh huh. Oh, he got. Of course. Did he just get both heads? Oh no, 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 no. He got one head. Okay, okay. That, that's these. That, that's not that bad. But again, I'm gonna get completely destroyed because for some reason weak weakness is that impactful. Oh, that means I can poison it. Damn it. Hmm. 
Weakness is something completely random that no one can control. Uh, if you want to make a good deck, you can only make use one type, or in Nightmare's case, like I don't even count Nightmare. Here, that is so stupid. That's 160 damage for one energy, purely because of weakness. Like, what am I supposed to do? What's the counterplay there? Like, what am I supposed to do about that? For real, what the hell? It's so stupid. At least I can get my area knows how to knock that thing out. Um, I want to place this thing down. I'm going to em empty out my hands completely. I need the area to knock it out. As you can see, it's at 110 HP. I do 100 damage, so yeah. I'm going to just do this. I'm just going to poison this nest. Oh, wait, it doesn't work. I forgot. I just said I can't poison it. I just said that. I just said that. Oh, I'm so stupid. What does this second attack do? Okay. I just said that. I just said that. Oh, I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. I'm so out of it right now, man. He also enters out his hand, but he probably has a shaman. No, he has a Delphox. Okay, so he's gonna be stuck for a little bit. Like, as long as Delphox. Oh no, Mystical Fire never minds being stuck. Just get six cards, la 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 la. Annoying. That's the thing with this deck. I do get stuck quite a bit. That's what I something I didn't really need to solve. I have 68 points remaining. He can just knock me out even if he gets two tails. The fact that he got just got two heads is huge. But I mean 160 damage for one energy. That's all because of weakness. Weakness is dumb. Stupid mechanic. Though I must say I do. Utilize it as well in the Greninja Break matchup for sure. Greninja Break is a really easy matchup for this deck because of the weakness and the Theta Stop that I have. He end? I have no cards in my hand. Yes, I get six cards. Thank you. That was weird. Huh. Tonita. He's not even setting up his Delphox. I don't get it. He's not putting any energy on it. Just waiting, really. Like, that's my issue with the TCG. In the po on Pokemon Showdown, turns go a heck of a lot quicker because you just press a button and then you get to do things again. Uh, here, not so much. You just have to wait for your opponent to do things. Burning skills. Yeah, it doesn't matter. See, 120 damage. It's, it's just, weakness is so stupid. Weakness is so, so, such a stupid mechanic. Why is it in the game? Why? Like for real, what does it add for anything? If someone could explain that to me, I'd be very happy. Uh, do I, have a I already have a spirit link on that. I'm gonna pull out Lysander. I can't knock you out. Actually, I can knock you out. But I want to get rid of this thing because this thing is, in is being annoying. Just out of... I'm also gonna replace this again. I kinda wanna hit you with sleep poison to finish you off. You have 110, yeah. Is there anything else I wanna do? I could get out a new Mega Sceptile, but uh, that thing doesn't one-shot Delphox. I, I do one-shot Delphox even though the 130 poison does also does 10 damage. Uh, I could get it out. I'm not going to play anything just yet. I'm not going to play anything. I'm just going to sleep poison, be an, be an obnoxious asshole that finishes people off with sleep poison. Mm-hmm. You fell asleep. You died while asleep. <laughs> I'm annoying. All right. Uh, like, if he sets a Ponyta, I'm obviously gonna knock a Ponyta, not Delphox. Or Rapidash, most likely, next turn. There's the Rapidash, I assume. Or maybe it's a Brixen that comes out. No, it's a Rapidash. I don't know why he sets a... Rapidash is a bad Pokemon, in my opinion. Oh wait, this thing has the agility. That's what he's going to be using. So it's 80 damage. 80 damage from agility. Annoying. Weakness is so stupid. Actually, if any of the agility is, I'm just going to bring out Delphox and knock it out. Yeah. 
If he misses the coin, oh, now I'm definitely not pulling out the Del Fox because this thing is way scarier than this thing. This thing is gonna one shot me. This thing is never gonna one shot me. This thing doesn't even. No, this, no, this thing doesn't two shot me with agility. It just two shots me with overrun, but not with agility. This thing has free retreat, doesn't it? It totally does. I'm dead. Fuck off. See, even fire has better type specific uh, support than grass does with the blacksmith. You just set up this Delphox in one turn. No counterplay at all for me. And it's over. Yay, weakness again. Good job. Amazing, amazing Pokemon. Great. Thank God that weakness exists. Really makes the game a lot more fun. A lot of counterplay. A lot of things you can do about it. Thank God it exists. I'm really happy about that. A really fun mechanic that clearly makes the game more balanced. Uh, what else can I say about it? Um, yeah, it's also really fun that the thing you want seem to want people to do is build decks with only one type. That completely screws them over. Unless they're fighting type, we have like five different weaknesses across it. Why do? You, why does weakness exist? Like, I still don't get it. Why does weakness exist? Why would you make it so that... Fire completely destroys grass in any situation ever. All I can do now is poison stall of Ariados. He, literally what he has to do is retreat this thing. He literally has to put one fire energy on this thing and he wins. So he better do that. Please, just finish it off. I'm so sorry that I'm just being salty right now. But I feel like I have the right to be salty, man. Honestly, all three of these games were pretty fucking stupid. Why didn't you place one on Fennekin? Oh, you did. Okay, good. It's over. That's it. Just retreat to Fennekin, go into Delphox, win. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. It's over. Nice. Nice. All right, GG to my opponent. Like, okay, I was salty this game. I'm not saying that they didn't play better than I did. But I do have to say that weakness is dumb, that fighting, as I, what I said, fighting a stupid type specific sport. But that's, alright, it's a good deck, you get to play it, at least it's not Nine March. They played well, my opponents played well, I have to say that. I made some misplays, the poison was, was stupid, I don't really know why he did that. But okay, that's it. One more thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open all of the rewards that we get, as well as buy one more new pack. Um... So that's what that like we can do that and then we're pretty much that that's it. Then we're gonna end it off here. So we're gonna buy Phantom Forces for the to try and get this versus more verse seekers collection. Uh, and we'll open up. We'll start with the uncommon chest. You get I got one for uh, getting third in the tournament, and I got one for the reward system in versus. I get a blacksmith, kind of nice. I'll open more another. And here I get a a rare card. And it's Kurami X. I, what the? Uh, okay, I did not even know you could pull the axes from those things. Holy! I pulled Kurem. I probably can trade that one, sadly, but still, that's amazing, right? We'll open a Primal Clash now, which I still had for some reason. I don't really know why I still have that. And I'll take it. I might pull Trevor and the X, which is what I'm hoping for because that's my next deck that I'm trying to build. And I get Flygon. What does this do? Oh, that's a judge for one person. Okay. Interesting. Uh, Bidoof. Bidoof. The Asian trade Pokemon, guys. Guys. It's so dumb. Uh, uh, that's nothing really interesting. And. Versus Seeker. Versus Seeker. Ver uh, what did I do? Versus Seeker. 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 Please. Please give me Versus Seekers. I need them so badly. No Versus Seekers. Oh. But I do get a dragon, I guess. Alright, well, that was about it for today. Again, sorry for being kind of salty. Any feedback is welcome. I thank you all very much for watching. I'm out. Peace.